there, friends. As you can see, this is Miss Tracy with the Charitable Branch Library, and I am wearing my mask right now. I am going to get ready to take that off. Do you like my new blue color? Kind of matches my shirt. Remember, pull on your ear loops and then take your mask off very carefully, right? Hi there, my friends. You will notice some things have changed. I have changed out our bulletin board behind me. It says story time. This is now what I'm calling my studio. And you'll notice there are five words up on the board. Talking, singing, reading, playing, and writing. We follow the Every Child Ready to Read program here at the Gaston County Library. And these are the five things that we do every time in our story times to make sure that you are ready when you go to school. So we are gonna start super basic today. I thought, wow, it's almost September. Actually, by the time you watch this, it probably will be September. What would be a good thing to start with, do you think? I know, let's start with the alphabet. Do you wanna sing your ABCs with me? Those are always a good thing to start with, aren't they? Are we ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Fantastic job. So if we're gonna start with the alphabet, where should we start? I think we will start with the letter A. Now, you'll notice I have a bag. I got this wonderful idea from my friend Jerry Brooks. He has a letter bag, so I thought we would start with that. We have letter A. I have a few things in my letter bag, and I want to know if you can guess what they are. So the first thing is a little teeny tiny insect, which has some legs and crawls around, and typically might interrupt your picnic. Do you know what that is? Oh, I bet you do. Did you say ant? That's right, ant starts with the letter A. This next thing is super large and it is in the sky. It's a form of transportation. Sometimes when we play, we say we're flying like, what do you think that is? Starts with the letter A. Did you say an airplane? That's right, airplane starts with the letter A. I'll be honest, I don't like flying in airplanes but that's okay, you might. Now, the last thing is what we're focusing on today. It's letter A, it's a fruit, and it is this fruit's season. They're usually crisp and juicy, and they come in different colors and different varieties, and you can make all sorts of things out of them, pies and cakes and bread, and do you know what those are? Did you say? Are you ready? Did you guess it? Apple. That's right. Apple starts with a letter A. And that's what we're going to do today is an apple story time. If you go to the grocery store right now, there's apples everywhere, aren't there? Lots of juicy apples. So let me get out my flannel board here so we can sing about apples. I have some apples to go up on my board. And you will notice as I do, these apples have letters on them. So here is letter A and letter P. And there's another P. What do you think we're spelling? I bet you know, and there's an L. That's right, could we possibly be spelling apple? There's our letter E. Yes, that's right. So I have all these juicy red apples, and they actually spell the word apple, A-P-P-L-E. If you know the song Bingo, we're going to sing apple instead of bingo. We're going to use that same song, though. So are we ready? 
There is a fruit that's good to eat. An apple is its name. O A P P L E A P P L E A P P L E. An apple is its name. O. You want to do that again? That was pretty good, wasn't it? We'll try to sing a little softer this time. Can you sing it a little more quietly? You ready? There is a fruit that's good to eat. An apple is its name. O A P P L E A P L E. I know I'm singing real soft, right? A P P L E. An apple is its name. O. What about loud? Can you sing really, really loud? Ooh, this will be fun. There's nobody in the library yet, so I can be loud. Are we ready? There is a fruit that's good to eat. An apple is its name. O A P P L E A P P L E A P P L E. An apple is its name. O. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? So yes, don't forget, apple starts with the letter A, right? Now you'll notice again, all of these apples, they're all red. But apples do come in different colors, don't they? You've seen different colored apples, right? When you go to the grocery store? I have some apples that are gonna go hang in a tree. So we'll start with the usual. There's our red apple. What are these things here in the center? Do you know what those are? That's right, they're seeds. Did you know there's a specific name for an apple seed? And it's so cute, it's called a pip. That's right, P-I-P, pip. Apple seeds are also known as pips. So here is our red apple. Ooh, make sure that the board is gonna stay. All right, what color is that apple? That's right, that one is yellow. How many pips do you see on that apple? That's right, there's two of them. So both of those only have two pips. What about this apple, what color is that one? Ooh, that's right, it's a green apple. How many pips are on that apple? Four, that's right, that one has four. What color is this apple? I know this one's always fun in story time because the kids will say red and I'll say, are you sure? Because this one is actually pink. And this one has four pips as well, doesn't it? You can tell it's a different color if I actually hold it up to the red one. But it is a dark pink, so it's a little hard to tell. And what about that one? That's right, that one is also sort of green, but sort of yellow. It's a much lighter green, right? How many pips do you see on that one? That's right, we have four again. All right, how many apples do we have total on our board? One, two, three, four. We've got five apples, right? Now imagine that all those apples are in a tree. Are you ready? Five little apples hanging in a tree. The juiciest apples you ever did see. Now we have to act like the wind, right? The wind came by and gave a little frown. Blow on your apples. Oh no, and one of those apples came tumbling down. What color came tumbling? That's right, the red one fell. So now we have four apples, right? One, two, three, and four. Four little apples hanging in a tree. The juiciest apples you ever did see. The wind came by and gave a little frown. Oh, and one of those apples came tumbling down. What color is that one? That's right, that's one of our green ones. And now how many apples are there? That's right, we've got, excuse me, three, right? One, two, and three. Three little apples hanging in a tree. The juiciest apples you ever did see. The wind came by and gave a little frown. Ready, blow real hard. Oh, and one more of those apples came tumbling down. Which one was that one? Do you remember? That's right, that one is the pink one, yes. And now we have two, right? One and two. Two little apples hanging in a tree. The juiciest apples you ever did see. The wind came by and gave a little frown. Oh, which one should go? I think the yellow one, right? The yellow one is gonna come tumbling down. And now there's only one. Oh gosh, only one. One little apple hanging in a tree. The juiciest apple you ever did see. 
The wind came by, ready, blow real hard, gave a little frown, and that last apple came tumbling down. And now there's no more apples, right? Oh, that's kind of sad that we don't have any apples left. Well, if you're looking for some good books about apples, there's lots, lots and lots of them. If you are looking for something fun to read, you could read Ten Apples Up on Top by Thea Lessig. That's right, that's actually Dr. Seuss. You count up when you're counting your apples on that one. Lots of rhyme and lots of fun. You could also read Ten Red Apples by Pat Hutchins. This is a lot of rhyming again, but in this case, we count our apples down from 10. Always you notice in counting, we tend to count up or count down. We do the same thing here, don't we? This is one of my favorite books to use when I'm in story time. It's Tap the Magic Tree, and this one is by Christy Matheson. This is a really, really fun book. Um, you get to get kids participating because sometimes we have to tap. Sometimes we have to blow, just like we did in our, our uh, poem about the apples, right? We have to blow on the book. Sometimes we have to rub the tree and make it warm. Um, I like, we clap real hard. Clapping makes lots of magic. That's a fun one to do. Don't forget, there's also nonfiction books about apples and apples trees, like this one, The Apple Pie Tree. This is by Zoe Hall and illustrated by Sherry Hopburn. And this talks about the life cycle of an apple tree. What happens as the tree grows and the apple blossoms bloom and then how you get apples and also the things you might see in an apple tree like birds and nests, things like that. You'll notice um, those have numbers on the spine. So you find them in a different area than you do most of the picture books, but those are also really good to incorporate. So speaking of nonfiction books, this is the one that I love to read every year around apple time. It is Annie, or Apple Farmer Annie, sorry. And this is by Monica Wellington. And this is a course about Annie. Annie lives on an orchard and she has lots of apple trees. And she takes the apples and she bakes things out of them like cakes and pies. Um, she also makes applesauce and apple cider. And then of course, one of the things she does is she takes her apples to market. So this is a real fun one to read. And again, you can tell from the numbers, this is a nonfiction. And I like on the back, it says that this is delicious. And so there is our book, Apple Farmer Annie. So the last thing we're gonna do is a rhyme, again, about apples. And it means we need to put this on the board. What do you think that is? Does it look like a bed, sort of, kind of, maybe? I think it looks kind of like a bed. So the first apple in the basket was bright and shiny red. The second apple in the basket said, oh my, what a cozy bed. Oh, so maybe it is a bed. The third apple in the basket said, make room for me, you pair. There she is. And the fourth apple in the basket said, please move over there. The fifth apple in the basket uh-oh, said, oh dear, oh me, oh my. This basket looks like a pastry. I think we are in a pie. Oh no, I think that, that apple is right. And there's our pie crust. That's right, all the apples are baked into the pie. But wouldn't that be delicious to have an apple pie? I hope you have enjoyed our apple story time today. Um, don't forget letter A. Remember we have our letter A bag. And maybe one of the things you can do today is think about some other things that start with letter A. Um, remember we said that there was a squirrel in the book? Um, squirrels eat acorns. We'll probably do squirrels later on in the fall. We love squirrels. Let's see, what else could we do with letter A? Oh, you know what? I can show you my name tag. See, right in the middle, my name doesn't start with A, but I have an A in my name. Mine is right in the middle of my name, which is kind of neat. I have that same letter. 
you know what? Oh, there's a wonderful word that starts with letter A, and it means hello and goodbye. Ready to learn a new word? How about aloha? That's right, that comes from Hawaii, and that means hello and goodbye. So I will say aloha to all of you, my Storytime friends, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.